Hi guys. I'm trying to use my video camera again, my Fuji Film Fine Picks. I've been using my cell phone and I hope this isn't a mistake because the internet is so poor out here it takes so long sometimes to upload. What this video is about is a couple multi-tiered thing. These are some products that I have bought recently. Not all at one time because I'm, I'm po. I don't have a lot of money. But you do what you can. You get a little bit along. So I'm going to do a little bit of a review but yet show you what I'm doing and if you do a little bit along, even if you're like me and you make less than a thousand dollars a month um, income, I think you can still kind of help yourself. Is this the best best method long term? Absolutely not, because these are battery operated everything. But let me show you what I got. Wish I had some help in filming this. Some of this, like from here on, I don't know if you can see, is from. Walmart. So just let me go over what I have gotten. This is a two two cob lanterns, fifteen dollars and ninety nine cent from Walmart. They're adorable. Uh, it does. I'm trying to remember if it came with the batteries. I don't think so. But it even has varying degrees of light. I mean, I am so impressed with these little things and I believe there are three A double A's batteries. Let me see. Bear with me. Yeah, three double A batteries and it didn't come with batteries. But I'm liking this. This can be set on the table or it can be hung. It's not very big, just so you can tell by that. But I like them so far. Alright, another thing I got from Walmart is a little lightweight uh, camera and I'm trying to remember I don't remember if those were triple A or double A this can hang or it can sit on the table and look at what we have here sorry if it blinds you this is five dollars and forty four cent is that still in there this is a red light flashing light. I mean, I'm loving this for $5.44. And I like that it's, if you need to, it can be hands-free by setting it on the table. This, I didn't go I didn't bother to take it out of the package, which I will, because I like to test things and make sure they're working. But this whole set at Walmart was $11.99. And it is a six-piece LED camping light combo. It's got the little pin lights, two of them, and it does even come with the batteries. That looks like AAA batteries. It's got the small hand, small flashlights. It's got a little battery lantern, and that is a head lamp. I like this. I did buy it on sale, which is what I recommend people doing. But with all these storms and stuff going on, it's going to be harder and harder to find the good deals. Because those of us of a certain age knows it's um, demand. Demand is what will control the price sometimes. All right, now here I got this. This is a convertible lantern slash uh, flashlight, $6.80. And I really, because of my mother, I'm gearing on things that can sort of stand up on their own. Where can I get this? I'm having a look to see if that is. So here we have. Whoa, that is really light. Sorry, I'm, I'm blinding y'all, I know. But it will hang this way. Or you can uh, hang it this way. So I'm really liking this. Uh, the batteries didn't come with this either, I do not believe. And I think. It's either AAA or AA. I'm sorry, I can't remember. I can barely remember my name on some days. I just have to be honest. Because I live in the south, I'm focusing. After that last storm, we were only out of power like a day. There's other people that just recently got their power back on uh, from Helene. I got two of these 
from Amazon. They're five speed or five inch fans, two speeds. They did not come with batteries. I love that they're tabletop. It's two D cell batteries. But let me show you. I don't know if you can hear. Can you feel that breeze? I'm being I'm being funny. I thought it was a two speed, but it is two speed. So there's low. It will shock you how much air flow I'm getting from that. So I got one for me, one for mama that she can sit right beside her in her bed or whatever. Now on these, these were from Amazon. That was from Amazon. $12.99 each in case I didn't say. This is a USB cord fan. And you, it was $6.98 each. I got two of them. So you may, a, you may ask yourself, why would I do a USB? Well, I have a couple of these power packs. I saw to it that before Helene come, I had my power packs charged up, which I was glad I did. I bought two more power packs. But why I decided to do this is if you have power packs that are fully charged. Well, I'm hoping I'm in the frame on this. I need help. I need help filming. So you can plug this in there into your power pack and then you cut it on. I'm kind of surprised how strong that is. So once you have the power packs and you've got it fully charged by using even your car. Let's see if that has, I can't remember if it has separate speeds. Yeah, this actually has at least two speeds. Three speeds. I am shocked at how much air is being pushed out here. But now I'm straight up going to tell you, if you don't have a generator or something to charge up your, your battery banks, whatever they're called, then you may be out of luck. I did get another one of these for Mama, and it was $12.99. And I had showed the other one that I had gotten recently. What I, I like this for, number one, you can set it on the table. This is three AA batteries, and you can turn. Can y'all hear that? This surprisingly has a lot of power. The same thing as that. And it's got the mister. You put water in here. This saved me on that night when the power went out. The other things that I got from Amazon, if you're going to have the power banks, you need a... What is this? Uh, let's see, it's a 150 watt power inverter that I can use in my car. This was $15.99 from Amazon, which I have to buy the lesser expensive things. It just, it has to be okay. I can plug this in my car and I can, it's even got an electric plug. I heard mixed reviews on this. Some said as long as it's something very small, like a small desk fan or something you can plug here but here it's got the USB plugs and all this so I got one of these as a safe backup and then to have some extra cords for doing this for charging my stuff to make it easier I got two different cords this is two cords 10 foot long which is overkill but you don't always have the availability to have your power source really close. So this is $8.99 from Amazon, two of those cords. These are just to give you ideas. I bet there's a lot of people in the path or that really, those people in Tennessee, oh my goodness, we're trying to help them. That, that last video that I shared that I'm sure I sounded panic just almost about but it wasn't it's not panic for me it's panic for those people that are still thinking I'm not going to bother bother with that why 
Why prepare? Why stick things back? Okay, I don't even know what to say at this point. So I'm gathering this stuff up. This was the AAA batteries. I paid $12.20 from Walmart to get some of those. And then the double pack. And this, like I said, these weren't all just in the last week or two. $21.98. No, they're not the name brand. I get it. But 60 AA batteries. Except for this, except for these two fans, everything I have shown here can be used either with the power bank and USB cord or can be done with the AA and AAA. Alright, these are just to give you ideas, people. Now, as one that follows me would know, scripture alert, <clears throat> I am just going to read just a little bit. We are coming into some times that are unprecedented. The Bible told me that. Not conspiracy theory. The Bible told me that. And I'm seeing proof of it right now. Uh, the Bible says men shall perish from lack of knowledge. I don't think that verse is just about biblical knowledge. Although the biblical knowledge is very important. But I think it also means knowledge. What's happening now. The Bible says over and over and over, watch. Watch. Because once you know the time we are in, then you know, is it time to stock up or is it not? It's always time to hit your knees. It's always time to read the Bible. It's always time to make sure that your relationship with Jesus is good. So, here's the scripture. John 14, verses 27 through 31. Peace I leave with you. My peace I give unto you, not as the world giveth, Give I unto you. Let not your heart be troubled, neither let it be afraid. Ye have heard how I said unto you, I go and come again unto you. If, I, if ye loved me, ye would rejoice. Because I said, I go unto the Father, for my Father is greater than I. And now I have told you before it come to pass, that when it is come to pass... Ye might believe. Hereafter I will not talk much with you. For the prince of this world cometh. That is Satan. He's already here. And hath nothing in me. The prince of this world cometh. And hath nothing in me. But the world may know. But that the world may know. That I love the father. And as the father gave me commandment. Even so I do. Arise, let us go hence. He's talking to his disciples. Another uh, passage is Romans 13, 12 through 14. The night is far spent. The day is at hand. Let us therefore cast off the works of darkness and let us put on the armor of light. Let us walk honestly as in the day, not in the rioting and drunkenness, not in chambering and wantonness, not in strife and envying, but pit, put ye on the Lord Jesus Christ, and make not provision for the flesh to fulfill the lust thereof. John 3.16, of course we all know, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. And I wanted to end this one on 1 John 4.4. 4. Once you understand John 3.16 and you become a child of Christ, a child of God, because you have accepted Him as your personal Savior, then 1 John 4.4 4, Ye are of God, little children, and have overcome them, because greater is He that is in you than he that is in the world. Sadly, this is not good news for those of you who don't know Jesus and have a personal relationship with Him until you become a true child of God by accepting Christ as your Savior. Then sadly, the promises in the Bible are not for you because you don't know Him yet. You don't have that relationship. But once you are a child 
of the King of Kings, you're saved by His blood, the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords, then all the promises in the Bible that God gives, we can stand on them. Stand on those promises. Do what you can do here, sometimes for yourself, sometimes for your family, sometimes like that stuff that um, uh, me and a couple friends gathered up together and then donated it to a local, well, kind of local place. Let me see. I think I shared it on the last one. But I'm one of those that love to share information. And yes, I know a lot of y'all don't do Facebook. In a way, you're sort of missing out a little bit. But the one that's gathering begins this is Champs Chance Incorporated. They're in Quincy, Florida. So all that stuff that I had on the table on my last video um, is packed up and is in the air thanks to that place, Chance, Champ, uh, Champs Chance Incorporated, and thanks to Wakulla Animal Control that was our center hub down here. That stuff is flying to Waynesville, North Carolina right now. Stand firmly on the promises that, that Christ gave us and that God gave us gave us and you may know someone that needs some of this we did do I did buy some flashlights to to donate do what you can this is not going to be a sprint that up there in um, the flood water waters of North Carolina South Carolina parts of Tennessee uh, and North Georgia and other this is not a, a sprint not at all this is a marathon and in fact we have Milton growing right now so we may all get a double whammy pray for one another do what you can do stand firm the bible says and i wish i could give you more positive what i just read is as positive as it can get there will be things coming and once we get down towards the even the beginnings of the tribulation things are going to be changing drastically do what you can do now begin with your soul I love you guys. God loves you. Jesus loves you so much. He died for you. But you have to accept Him. You have to accept Him. And that means keeping His commandments the best you can. Anyway, love you guys. Take care. Be safe. Help where you can. Pray when you can't afford any other help. And actually praying should be the first thing you do. Then do humanly what you can do. Love you guys. Take care.